So, um, Bodark, how was your trip to Japan? Fantastic. Hey everyone, welcome to another Bodark vlog in which I will be going to Japan to celebrate Christmas with my family. I'm really excited as this is going to be the first vacation in which I travel to another country during the winter, which I have never done before. So, get ready as I explore Tokyo for the first time and enjoy the sights and scenery of Shibuya and Shinjuku. Here I am with my parents on our way to Tom Bradley International Terminal. So, funny story, before heading to the airport, I had to take my final exam, which was super early in the morning, and I spent all week making sure I studied the material so I knew how to answer all the questions and make it to the airport on time. I was able to finish early, but it was a really hard final exam. I also find it funny how I started my last college semester the day after I came back from my trip to Taiwan, Singapore, and Malaysia, and ended the semester by going to Japan. For this trip, we will be flying on a Japan Airlines Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner, flight number JL-15. This will be my first time flying on Japan Airlines and I've heard some good things about it. The flight will be 11 hours and 50 minutes going from LAX to Haneda Airport. After a few hours, we board the plane and get to our seats. Surprisingly, the seats were really comfortable and the in-flight entertainment system was easy to navigate, so I was ready to relax for the next 11 hours and 50 minutes after my final exam. Or so I thought. After takeoff, I attempted to use my in-flight entertainment system and found out that it was not working. The entirety of the flight was basically me going back and forth seats because not only was my IFE not working, but my seat and other seats had problems with their headset jacks, causing my earphones to play audio from one ear. So I didn't really have a pleasant flight. Besides my seat problems, the food was pretty good. Meal service began shortly and there were two options, barbecue beef with mashed potatoes and miso salmon. I got the barbecue beef. Here's my review. So, we got some beef here. I'm gonna give it a try. Wow, it's really tender. Like, um, yeah, beef is really soft. Um, whatever that sauce is, that's really, it's really tangy. It's got this like sweet and sour sort of taste. Um, can't really describe it, but overall, it's not too bad. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. My mom got the salmon, so. Um, yeah, open it. Oh, that looks so nice. So I'm trying the salmon with rice from my mom's um, order. That is really good. Really tasty. Yeah, better than the barbecue beef actually. Halfway through the flight, when we were getting close to Japan, a small meal was served. What we have here is a pizza margarita, a small salad, and some yogurt. I've got the pizza on the floor here, let's give it a try. Mm. It's alright. Um, pretty cheesy, pretty doughy as well. Wrong with that. We soon land at Tokyo Haneda Airport. After retrieving our luggages and getting our passes for transportation, we take the monorail all the way to Hamamatsucho where our hotel is. Arriving at Hamamatsucho was really surreal to me because I was finally back in Japan since 2016 where I only visited Kyoto, but now here I was on the lively streets of Tokyo for the first time in my life. Um, we are now at the hotel, currently checking in. Uh, the monorail to the airport was a little crazy. I was going to film some stuff while walking to the hotel, but just, again, just trying to find the hotel was just a little crazy, so I didn't have time to film anything. Um, but so far, everything has gone smooth sailing. Um, and yeah, I just hope that once we're done checking in, I can get myself some food and a uh, nice sleep because it's going to be a big day tomorrow. So this is going to be me and my cousin's room for the remainder of our stay in Tokyo. Uh, yeah, it's some um, pretty cramped, uh, but uh, yeah, like way cramped than the Taiwan rooms, but you know, it, it is what it is. It's probably going to be so comfy, so yeah, whatever. Um, so here's the bathroom. Yeah, that is also something, so yeah. So anyways... 
The hotel is called, um, uh, oh shoot. Yeah, it's called um, Sotetsu Hotels. So that pretty much sums up the room tour. Um, I'm just waiting for my cousins and my aunt and uncle to arrive because their flight comes in late. And now hopefully I can um, go get some food right now and go to sleep because um, I'm hungry and I'm tired. So first meal in Japan, some soba and tempura rice. Yum. So we got the soba here. Some of the soup. Mm. Oh, that soda broth is so refreshing. The noodles are really chewy, but delicious. It's like, man, this is like so refreshing, especially since the weather outside in Tokyo is like a little chilly. So you do need a little bit of this to keep yourself warm. Um, I really love this stuff. This is like so tasty. We got some of the tempura rice over here. Should give that a try. Mm. It's not crunchy, but still, I think the tempura is pretty tasty. I think this is called kakiyagi. Uh, kakia, kakage, uh, what it's called, but it's still pretty good. I love it. Not bad. Not bad for first meal in Japan. After dinner, my family and I decided to get some dessert, which was conveniently around the corner. A little shop which was serving up fresh and piping hot taiyaki right in front of us. So while we wait for my cousin and aunt and uncle to arrive, um, we decided to go buy some taiyaki, which is this like pancake fish thing with um, red bean in it and um, it's my first time in Japan actually having some of these so let's give it a go mm. wow you could actually tell that it was cooked fresh like they were making these by the batch at the um, at the place that we got these from and it's really tasty the red beans like really sweet um, the batter is really crispy and warm and it's hot, it's like burning my hand, so yeah, um, I highly recommend this. This is like really tasty. So, uh, we just got back to the hotel, um, had some pretty good dinner. The soba and the kakiyagi rice was pretty good, as well as the taiyaki. Um, that was uh, pretty delicious as well. Um, met up with my cousin, my aunt and uncle. Um, yeah, my cousin, he also does some YouTube stuff. Um, Put it in the link in the description below. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Um, day one was um, a little crazy and tiring, but um, overall not bad. Um, I kind of like Tokyo so far. I just the city is. It just I don't know. It just has this like vibe to it that makes me feel fall in love with the city. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it is day two of the Japan vlog. So plans have changed. Originally we were supposed to go to Tsukiji Auto Market, Marionochi, Imperial East Gardens, and um, Ginza, but since um, we're trying to get our like JR passes and like stuff ready for the Hakone leg of the vlog, um, we're gonna be spending time in the Shinjuku area today. So um, we have no plans, unfortunately, in the itinerary, but we'll see where it goes. So I'll catch you guys later. Hey everyone, so today is going to be a full day in Tokyo starting from Shinjuku. As you can see here, me and my cousins are on the Oedo line en route to Shinjuku Station from Hamamatsucho. We did stay around Shinjuku Station just to get train passes for the next few days, and later on, we went to go get some brunch at a Japanese department store which are known for their wide variety of delicious foods. As I walked around with my family, there were tons and tons of different food items sprawling everywhere. You name it, tempura, grilled eel, katsu, chirashi bowls, and so much more that it was starting to get a little overwhelming describing every single food item in the department store. Out of all the delicious selections from the department store, my family and I eventually settled for yakitori and karage platter, a small piece of tempura kakiyage, and some sushi rolls. The yakitori, while a little cold, was really savory, sweet, and slightly tender. The tempura was alright but not really crispy, and the sushi rolls were super delicious. I think we ate so much that we were still full by the end of the day.
After brunch, we headed to the Shinjuku Gyoyan National Gardens, which was around a 10 minute walk from Shinjuku Station. The gardens were absolutely stunning in the winter. It was a mixture of traditional Japanese structures interwined with nature, and in the background, the city of Shinjuku, all of which looked like each were coexisting with one another. I absolutely loved these gardens as it felt somewhat peaceful. We later head back to Shinjuku Station and stop nearby the Kabukicho District to check out the statue of a legendary kaiju, the king of the monsters himself, Godzilla. We just took a few pictures there before heading to another famous landmark of Tokyo, Shibuya Crossing. There was definitely a lot of people at Chibuya Crossing, and it got a little chaotic at some times, especially while walking the crossing. It was a really exciting feeling to finally walk one of Tokyo's famous and busiest landmarks. I did wish I could spend a little more time around Chibuya Crossing, there were so many things to see that I missed out on. Maybe another time. We did hang out a little more in the Shibuya District as there were a few stores me and my cousins wanted to go check out, such as the Nintendo Store in Shibuya Parko, but it was very crowded and we didn't have much time. After walking around the Shibuya district, it was getting pretty dark, which was a perfect time to go to our last place of the day, because that is when a section of Shibuya goes blue. And I don't mean just a few Christmas lights blue, I mean illuminated in blue LED lights. This is the Shibuya Blue Cave Illumination, a limited time event attraction that goes from early to late December. My family and I were just in time for it. This event stretches from Shibuya Korondori and Yoyogi Park, and it did not disappoint. Over 2 million people come here every December to bask in the wintry blue light that illuminates this 800 meter display. I highly suggest coming here if anyone comes to visit Tokyo during the holiday season because none of you want to miss this. Ever. After that wonderful experience at Jibuya Blue, we headed to Tokyo Station where we went to this udon restaurant, Sanuki Mengyo, for dinner before finalizing our JR bullet train passes. The udon noodles were really chewy and complemented by the rich and hearty broth, grated mountain yam, and thinly sliced beef. Nothing but a nice bowl of udon to drag me back to the hotel for a nice long rest. So, today was, uh... Pretty fun day. I just got back to the hotel and so has my cousin. Uh, overall, everything was fun. The gardens were pretty beautiful, um, especially during this season. Uh, I wish I could have done a little more in Shibuya, but it is what it is. There's probably, this was probably my only chance to see it. And yeah, um, but Overall, I think it was a pretty fun day, so yeah, we'll see what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll see you guys later.